What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Here in the US of A, there's not many foods more popular than a classic burger and fries. I mean, it's around every corner, whether that's McDonald's, Wendy's, Rallies. If you wanna tap into that retirement, you can get five guys. There's lots of options, but if your goal is ultimately to be anabolic, right? Keep that waistline down, then hitting those drive throughs maybe ain't your best option. I mean, if you just look at the nutrition facts on some of these meals, whew, it's more surprising than seeing a Viking in the capital. But today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you how to capture all of that flavor, make an amazing casserole that can feed you for a couple days perfect for meal prep and the best part is you can eat it with no guilt in today's video we will be making anabolic burger and fries casserole if you've been wanting a burger and fries but you also want to be able to fit into that swimsuit this summer and look no further than this video because i'm telling you it just might change your life and if you got that rjf anabolic cookbook man we just added this recipe in there as well all my recipes all the amazing stuff we drop on this channel is in here man an easy to use guide right in your pocket if you want to make dieting sustainable something you can do long term man and i really think this is all you need. You get it once time to get every future recipe I have for free. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! And one of my favorite parts of this recipe has got to be the french fries, man. I found a really good brand here. Arida Golden Crinkle Fries, only 100 calories a serving. You don't got to buy potatoes, chop them up to make healthy french fries. As long as you're looking at the nutrition label and you're buying a good brand like these, there's really not much of a difference and you get that classic french fry crinkle. So we're going to start off with a food scale and weigh out 168 grams. And if you look at the back of the bag, there's multiple ways to cook french fries, but the best, fastest way ready in about 12 minutes is going to be to throw them in an air fryer. It's just just like you got them at a fast food joint without having to deep fry them. Oven works too, but air fryer, man, if you got it, use it. Let's toss them. And with a quickness, using the air fryer, we got delicious, crispy french fries. Now, I'm gonna grab an eight by eight square baking dish, hit it with nonstick. Then I'm gonna take my fries and layer the bottom of our pan with them. We might not get full coverage, but we'll get pretty close. But I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do to bind it all together. And boom, that is our bottom layer. Now what we do is weigh out 224 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese in a bowl. And at this point, I'm gonna use exactly half of it. So I'm just gonna watch my scale here and take 112 grams. I mean, you can eyeball it if you want but I like to be precise and just sprinkle it evenly on top of our french fries. And what'll happen to this bottom layer is as it cooks, the french fries are gonna come cheesy. It's all gonna bind together and just create like a perfect bottom layer. And that looks pretty good to me. So at this point, we can set this to the side for now. And as far as protein sources go and some veggies, what I'm using, 448 grams of 96% lean ground beef. Leanest beef you can buy. And I also have 84 grams of white onions right here. Now, depending on how you like your burger, you could throw pickles in here, maybe some peppers. I don't know what you like. But for the sake of simplicity, these two are all I need. And at this point, we're basically almost done. Last thing we really gotta do is get a seasoning blend together for our beef and onions. We want it to taste like a cheeseburger. In the bowl sitting on my food scale, I'm gonna start with 30 30 grams of Worcestershire sauce. Never know if I'm saying that right. 30 grams of Dijon mustard. This stuff is zero calories, by the way, so you don't really gotta worry about it if you wanna use a little extra. Now we need 30 grams of sugar-free ketchup. I like G Hughes brand. You can't tell you're really eating anything diet. It's only five calories a serving. If you can't find this, low sugar, reduced sugar, Heinz ketchup will work just fine. Now I'm gonna add in 10 grams of minced garlic. And then the next part's optional, but I like to do this. Just about two grams of salt and about two grams of pepper and boom our seasoning blend is complete Now we cook. I got a skillet preheated to about medium high heat, nonstick. Now I'm gonna toss in my onions and my beef at the same time and cook it till it's brown. Now after a few minutes, meat is browned, onions are cooked down. It's a wonderful time to be alive. I'm gonna take our seasoning blend from earlier, dump it right in the middle, make sure we get all of it. Now I'm just gonna go in, mix everything together. And once we got it good and mixed up, we're gonna return it to the heat for a few more minutes. It'll thicken up a tiny bit and then we're good to go. Yeah. 
And boom, just like that, our seasoned cheeseburger meat is thickened up and good to go. Now we're just gonna spread it out in this pan on top of our cheese. Then I'm just gonna go in with my spatula and spread it out edge to edge. And if you make this at home, just try the beef right now. You could literally just make that beef alone without the fries, without the cheese, and just eat it, because it's that good. You'd probably be as surprised as seeing a man in a Viking outfit storming the Capitol. Ooh, and at this point, she's smelling good. Last thing to do is take the remainder of our cheese and spread it on top. And at this point, all we gotta do is wrap it in foil, throw it in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes on 350 degrees. Our only goal here is to melt the cheese. Everything else is already cooked. So we just want that cheese to be melty, bubbly, and uh, delicious. Woo! And ladies and gentlemen, when I return, it's anabolic magic time. Let's go. And boom, there we go guys. Anabolic cheeseburger and fries casserole is fresh out the oven. So I'm gonna take a spatula here, just go right in the middle, split this into about four pieces and show you guys what we're working with. Oh my goodness, are you seeing this? We got that melted cheese, we got the onions, we got the fries at the bottom. Woo, baby. Tell me this doesn't look incredible. And boom, baby, I have two pieces of the anabolic cheeseburger and fry casserole stacked on top of each other just to show you guys what happens to those fries at the bottom. And I made some extra fries and sat on the side because I needed a good thumbnail. So smash that thumbs up button for me, please. Helps the channel more than you know. A recipe like this is perfect if you're trying to make dinner for multiple people or if you just want to make something, split it into servings and use it for meal prep. It's amazing re-microwaved and I'm telling you, fresh out of that oven when that cheese is still gooey, everything's fresh and kicking, ooh, it's a real treat. All right, guys, we've been staring at it long enough. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. Oh, 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 it's feasting time. But first, I need a little energy, man. Final boss, pre that rainbow supernova flavor. Great before workout, great in the morning. If you just need some energy, great right before you feast. Partial scoop. Ooh, tastes like a lucky rabbit's foot. Available at finalbossformance.com, code RJF10 for 10% off. Now, before I dive into this, man, little hack here. Remember them sauces from earlier? I'm just gonna put a little bit of this ketchup on top. Whoop. Shout out to my man G, by the way. And a little bit of Dijon mustard. Use whatever mustard you like. I like this brand here, though, because it's zero calories, so I'm not worried about it. And even that little bit of ketchup was maybe like two or three calories. So I always say, choose your sauces wisely, people. All right, let's get in here, get a nice bite. I want some fries, I want some of that beef, that cheese. All right, looks like we got a little little bit of everything right there. I'm ready for it. Three, two, one, hang out. If you follow me on the gram, you know I've been working on this recipe for like the last week. And for real, this became one of my favorites. Mm. Even with no sauce, the meat by itself, the way we seasoned it. With the onions, it's just got this like, it's kind of sweet. There's like a hint of mustard, a hint of ketchup. I mean, fries, you saw the fries. Everybody likes fries. You got the cheese. And I mean, just look at how that bottom worked out there. Hopefully you can see that. Like the cheese adheres to the fries and just gives it that nice bottom layer. So every single bite, man, you're getting some fries, you're getting some hamburgers, some onions. Mm. Amazing flavor. This is what it's all about, man. How do we even call this a diet? You know what I mean? We got something special here, ladies and gentlemen. It's like a little secret that us together get to keep. Mm. And whether you're making this one for the family, whether you're just a dude by himself in a house or a woman, you can make this, portion it up how you want it, depending on your macros, and then you just microwave it later. You put this in a drop burger container, you microwave it, boom, cheese remelts, you bring it back to life, man. So don't worry about eating it all in one sitting. If you can't or you don't want to, you can just save it for later, man. Meal prep, baby. But if you're like me, I make this recipe today, I'm just gonna eat it all day. It's gonna fit right into my day, no problem. Whoa. Now in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the whole thing is 1100 143 calories, only 27 grams of fat, 172 grams of protein, 53 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber. So if I split this into four pieces, each piece has about 270-ish calories, about 43, 44 grams of protein, around 11, 12 grams of carbs, and like six or seven grams of fat. Not bad. This is a half and eaten. I'm just gonna do two servings right now, which 86 grams of protein, not bad at all. Other than I got mustard on my shirt now. Casualties of war, I presume. All right, baby, we are down to the final bite. Let's finish strong. 
Mm. I mean, 10 out of 10. This is uh, one of my favorite recipes I've ever done. I know I say that a lot, but I think your relationship with food should be cyclical in a sense. Like when I find a new recipe that I really love, I eat it for like a week straight and I kind of find something else that I either I'm working on or I put in my cookbook and I just kind of go through favorites and rotate them in and out. I always say, if you want a diet that's sustainable, you gotta be eating foods you love. And it's not that I ever quit loving any of these at any given moment, but it's just that I get hooked on something and I crave it and I'll have it for like a week. I'll do pizzas, I'll do things like this. And then when I start to feel like, all right, maybe I've had enough of that one, I gotta swap it out and find something else, man. You want this to be long-term sustainable. When we're eating foods like this that are high in protein, making our bodies more anabolic, more thermogenic, super filling because of all the protein we're eating, but at the same time, delicious and fun, like I always say, man, I don't know how we can lose. I really don't. You already know, if you got that cookbook and you're hitting this new year off on the right foot, man, it's been updated, so go grab your updated copy. And if you don't have the book yet, I don't know what you're waiting for, man. We're uh, making magic happen around here. And it all starts with you taking control, getting in that kitchen, and whipping up something for yourself. Because when you cook your own food and you control it, you make it delicious, you make it anabolic, you follow the recipes. I mean, losing isn't even in the equation, man. We don't even have that word in our dictionary. Because all we do is eat good, win, and make it a lifestyle around here. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Smash that thumbs up button for me, comment anything down below, helps with the algorithm, let me know what you wanna see me make, subscribe if you are not subscribed, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys, I mean, I feel like a bird, but we still got some leftover crumbs. Mm.